Okay, so there's a couple things that when we think about what goes in the body of the text, we typically, on most pages, have a main headline or a main header. This is, uh, again, going to be important for your um, how you use your headers. It's going to be important for your search engine optimization. And so this says, I'm beginning a top-level header, I'm and here's a end of the top-level header. My first day in web. And then we, we can have subheaders or second level headers. Subheading would be HTML. Oops, not slash HTML, slash H2. And the second subheading might be slash h2. Now you type this stuff without thinking after a while. <laughs> you, you can't. I feel like you could get really lost in the mess. Huh? Yeah, I feel like one could get really lost in the mess if this gets a little com like more complex. <laughs> yeah, well, if you pay attention to what you're doing and always open and close your tags, tags are always written in lowercase. Most tags, if you open them, must be closed, and we close them in the same order. So if I had something in between here and here, I'd have to, let's say I had a anchor tag, mm -hmm. I would have to close that anchor tag before I close the H2. We'll talk about anchor tags later. Okay, so let's save this. Command S. Alt-Tab to switch over to our browser, command R to refresh, and we see our top-level heading, our two secondary headings, and wow. In fact, we can actually have six subsets of headings. I can have H1s, H2s, H3s, all the way down to H6s. Think of it as an outline, though. Remember back, we had our main title, we had Subsettings, I'll be with you in just a second, Edmund. Uh, you know, and then we broke it down further from there, mm -hmm. if you remember that. Yes. Okay, same thing with our headings. It has nothing to do with this is the first one, that's the second one, this is the third one. It's just separating. It, it's all about subjects. hierarchy of importance. Okay? Yes. All right, let's pause that.